What is up, YouTube? Good again here, back out of the My League Perfect Trade Rebuild. As you can already tell, probably behind me, it is the Golden State Warriors. And the team that I'm trying to take some players away from is the Toronto Raptors, because it seems like they might be selling in real life. I didn't know I hadn't done a perfect trade rebuild for the Warriors. If you guys are aware, the perfect trade, or if you guys aren't aware, a perfect trade is one trade. I do one trade to try to win the May Championship in year one. If I don't, I keep going, and then I try to win as a regular rebuild. But first season always one trade one perfect trade sometimes it's realistic sometimes it's completely unrealistic and today it's the golden state warriors make sure to drop a like i know a couple of you guys wanted this one so i had to do it i do read the comments you guys see me reply to y'all um but yeah drop a like subscribe if you are new and then let's get it now why did i say i mean i said i didn't say this one was realistic or unrealistic i'd say it's unrealistic because i'm trying to rob them it's realistic in the sense that they might be selling but they might be selling other players like fred van vliet might be open uh they might be open to trading him they might be tr open to trading an older kyle lowry they might be open to trading pascal depending on who they get back but here i am trying to completely rob them because i want to win in year number one and i want to win without clay thompson year number one since he is really out in in, in this season i'm gonna make sure he sits on the bench and doesn't get any playing time the first season you guys might be like why i mean i just want to make it harder on myself i have if i have him starting if i have him it's too easy i think it's way too easy but Wiggins why Wiggins matching contracts matching the money that has to go back plus you know he's from Canada maybe he'll be even more motivated playing for Toronto I don't know Eric Pascal's kind of young still 24 years old that's why I'm throwing him in here plus we're bringing other bigs back meaning we got to get rid of some bigs and then Marquise Marquise as well right here uh why OG I think he's the perfect Harrison Barnes type player back in the, the, the when they won their first championship. OG, 3 and D, and he's still improving. And he's still improving, only 23 years old. Chris Boucher having the most improved type of, uh, of season. You've seen what he can do in the regular season this year. Uh, Pascal, just another guy that we could throw in there, that we could throw in death lineups. When he's playing center or Draymond's playing center, you know, that type of death lineup out there. Or shoot, OG's playing power forward and Pascal's playing center. Depending, depending how many shooters you want out there and who you want out there, but it gives us options. They're going to say no. I'm going to add picks. Top three protected Minnesota pick. I could also still clearly add, um, what's his face? Kelly Oubre Jr. One year contract. He probably has some type of value not interested in the trade we give them our pick which is still valuable which i don't think will be we should be in the playoffs after this and it goes through we got ourselves a squad gotta make sure gotta make sure one we're running 10 man i mean not yeah we're running nine man and clay thompson is not getting any minutes meaning our shooting guard is not going to be the best not going to be the worst but we're missing out on that 90 overall perfect trade has gone through realistic no I maybe I don't know I don't think so I don't think they would get rid of Pascal unless they're starting way over if I did that trade or if that trade for some miraculous reason was going through in real life I think they would involve James Wiseman James Wiseman Andrew Wiggins and then whoever as a third player for uh Pascal and OG I could see it but here is my team after the perfect trade has gone through Steph Curry Damian Lee like I said I'm keeping Thompson as as if he was injured uh, we don't run with injuries here, though, so nobody else would be injured during the season. OG at the three, Pascal at the four, James Wiseman at the five, meaning Chris Boucher is my sixth man. He's going to do really well as a backup big. Now, Draymond Green is a, is a seventh man. Kelly Oubre Jr., our eighth man, and then Kent Bazemore, our ninth. Offensively, I think Chris Boucher will score in the double digits off the bench. Draymond Green, he'll be really inefficient like always. Kelly Oubre, I'm hoping he scores a lot in 16 minutes because I'm, I'm kind of iffy about my bench. Looney made him fall out of the rotation. We just had too many bigs already getting minutes. I didn't need another one off my bench getting minutes. Next season, Klay Thompson comes back. If we win a championship, I just might go for a three-peat or something if I can. Uh, but Curry getting all the minutes in the world. Uh, and this is my starting five. I like it. I love it. James Wiseman eventually, like, MVP caliber numbers is what he puts up. But he's starting right now. Coach still wants him to start as a rookie. Chris Boucher off the bench. He could have definitely started, but we'll have him off the bench. And this team is kind of nuts. Once you realize that Klay Thompson would be coming back to this, plus an improved James Wiseman, it's it's kind of disgusting playing physical defense checking out our proficiency what is our best proficiency balance is at three stars and a half is there anything a little bit better 
just a little bit better there's nothing so i think i'm gonna run balance then it's a good mix of players the golden state raptors here we go simulate season number one see you guys at the end of season number one hopefully in the playoffs it is the western conference we might struggle a little bit but we still have a ridiculous 95 overall stephen curry we were good we were solid championship though i don't think so i don't think so conference rank is number three power rank is number five which is in itself really impressive now imagine clay thompson is in here now imagine the second best shooter to ever play the game is on this roster uh lebron james another mvp award for himself lamello is the rookie of the year six man goes to Devontae graham Giannis, defensive player most improved christian wood frank vogel 61 and 21 and uh I mean, no Steph on the All-NBA first. He's on a second carrying this team. Doesn't look like a defensive team for any Warrior All-Rookie first. James Wiseman is there. And we move it forward. We push it forward. We keep on going. We're the three seed in the Western Conference, which I think is a win. I think I'll take that as a win. I don't think we'll win a championship. There it is. Stephen Curry, 30 points a game, 8.4 assists, 1.3 steals, shooting 52% from the field, 44% from three, and 93% from the free throw line. Pascal, 19.5, seven rebounds, four assists. So he's doing a little bit of everything, getting a block, getting a steal. 18 for Wiseman as a rookie, 8.5. Like I said, he's going to eventually come back. I'm going to put up, like, stupid rebounding numbers, stupid scoring numbers, Kelly Oubre. I ended up making him a starter instead of Lee because we were sucking at the start of the season really, really badly, and I think his defense helped us, you know, end up as a number three uh, conference rank. Chris Boucher, a monster off the bench, 12 and 7.5. Per 36 would be 18 and 11 with almost two blocks a game. Damien off the bench, nine. Half of the season was him starting. Uh, Draymond, seven, four rebounds, five assists, 1.2 steals, and pretty limited minutes. And pretty limited minutes, and I believe because he's off the bench, his field goal percentage is not as bad. His three-point percentage, 34% in 22 minutes per game. I will take that. And, of course, OG always mad. I don't know what he wants from a team. He wants to be, like, the number one guy or something. I don't get it. But it says he's a 77 it's dumb. Kent Bazemore, four points. I was about to say four rebounds. Uh, but yeah, he's my ninth man off my bench. Ah, Clay Thompson, we need you back, baby. We need you back. And now we're up against Utah, who was absolutely being monstrous in the regular season in real life. Mike Conley, an 85 overall. Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Derek Favors. I'm not even going to change any defensive settings. I'm just going to roll through with it and then most likely keep everybody and see what we can do with Clay. See what we can do with Clay and young pe players improving. Because OG should improve a little bit. He'll probably still be mad. Uh, Clay Thompson will be back. Pascal might go up one overall. And James Wiseman should go into the 80s. So game by game, little by little, chipping away at Utah to see if we can make it to the second round. Can Steph Curry carry us to the promised land of an NBA Finals? Of an NBA Finals, we're up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Lou Will has to guard Steph Curry unless they switch one of these other guys off of him. Juan and Gomez is their starting power forward, so he's got to guard Pascal. Uh, OG, do your best, bro. Why are you mad? I'm not interested in talking about my future since I just signed a new contract. Well, yeah, you're not going anywhere. Why are you mad? Pascal at an 86, Wiseman at an 83, so we got to do our... We got to... I mean, our bench ain't bad. Our starters aren't the best best, but we could definitely surprise... Oh, my goodness. And no defensive settings. I don't need to change. I need four. Oh, and we don't have to go up against the Lakers, bro. It might happen. It might happen. Cleveland beat them. Cleveland beat them. New Orleans, Lonzo for, uh, and Eric Bledsoe going to be guarding our, our, our guy, Steph Curry. Brandon Ingram in 87 and 90 there. Steven Adams, they didn't change anything. They didn't change anything, but they did just beat the Lakers. And the Lakers are kind of ridiculous in 2K, especially this first season. Um, so we'll see what happens here. They're going to go up 3-1, aren't they? Oh, they didn't. We save. Oh, my God gosh oh my god okay it's the nets though uh i mean we still might have a chance against the nets but we got to get past these guys give less miss to og no i'm gonna keep him in oh my keep that lead don't just give it up in the first quarter after you just went up so much as long as you stay even for the rest of this game nba finals nba finals now you just gotta stay even Stay even. And we win a, a game seven. Move on to the finals against the Nets. Siakam scores 32. Wiseman 18 and 14. A monstrous double-double. And uh, 
Steph Curry almost threw the game for us. Steph Curry almost threw the game for us, but it was more than enough, especially with a pretty solid start. And we are here. Kyrie versus Curry, Harden versus Kelly Oubre Jr. Oubre has to do his best to defend. I think he's like at a B, B minus? B. He's at a B perimeter defense, B plus OG perimeter defense. Pascal's got a B perimeter defense and an A minus post defense. So uh, the Warriors like to switch a lot, do they not? They'll be perfectly fine switching uh, besides clearly James Wiseman, but James Wiseman is an A minus. And then an A minus post defense as well. There, Draymond Green comes in for defensive purposes, uh, playmaking purposes. Can be literally the point guard off my bench. And well, we fit. <laughs> it's in a perfect trade. Oh my god, I would have freaked out if we won that first game. I will not be surprised if we get smoked here though. Like it's a big three. It's KD that we got to guard. It's James Harden that we got to guard with Ubre. But we're making a comeback. Oh, I thought we were gonna go up three two. I'm gonna simulate with Simcast this one. Simulate with Simcast on this one for sure. Uh, more minutes to Steph. Yes. Yes. Uh, less minutes to OG. I don't really want to do that because, you know, he's guarding like one of the tough guys out there. But we'll do that. Steph Curry, 41 minutes. You got to play the entire game. You got to score 50. 15 threes. Minimum. 15 three-point shots from Steph Curry. If he go, He went off, didn't he? I'm just going to let it. What did they... 89 major props to chef curry records a triple double in another awesome game 39 10 and 13 with three steals the clutch gene the absolute clutch gene we're gonna 27 by pascal he helped 22 and 11 uh, we're not giving up on this perfect trade season 13 and 6 there 12 and 7 off the bench wow well move on to the next game how do i move it how do i click next game simulate next game uh i just tweaked a little bit there go on fastest last minutes to og i'm gonna do the same exact thing even though it's not asking for more minutes to uh steph we gotta give him to steph 41 minutes and do it again yes we're not at home this time but considering we just absolutely destroyed them uh we're not gonna we're not gonna do that two games in a row 21 to an 11 fourth i mean not fourth second quarter i'm tweaking oh wow it's over now it's their turn to absolutely embarrass us we embarrass them at home we outscore them by 10 but now it's the fourth quarter we gotta outscore them by another uh, 20 and it's not happening the game is over ladies and gentlemen we made a valiant effort a very very great effort of trying to win a championship in year number one. No Clay Thompson. This would be the greatest sign for the Golden State Warriors. Yo, we got to the finals. And we're adding a great one of the greatest shooters to ever play the game next season. And an all-star. And a pretty solid defensive player as well. Don't know how he's going to come back uh, defensively uh, after an injury like that. But we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back here. No problem. Yes, I get it. Kevin Durant, an absolute monster. What happened game seven? What happened game seven? They both scored 30. He scores 18. And where did what we fell short? 10 of 23, 7 of 19 from three. Jesus. Steph chucking the three ball. Uh, 19 and five. Second leading scorer was Kelly Oubre Jr. That's the problem, huh? That's the problem, Pascal. He tried, but he, not enough. Not enough. And now we come back. The following season, I'm going to try to not make too many moves. Maybe a better bench piece here or there, but we should be on our way to a championship season two. And because of that trade I just made, that's what the Raptors got a huge haul of first rounders in this draft. They got the 10th overall pick. They have the 17th overall pick and they have the 22nd overall pick because of that trade and then uh not the greatest players but they got some players back team has not changed maybe we've lost like a player or two but i'm also gonna make a trade for probably a backup guard a backup point guard hopefully uh in hopes of steph curry staying fresh but he stays at a 95 overall clay thompson 90 overall he stays there uh his mid-range goes up his inside goes up his perimeter defense goes up after an achilles injury I don't know. Pascal goes to an 85. Wiseman goes to an 84. OG an 83. Hopefully no longer mad at us by the end of the season again. Uh, Chris Boucher goes. Uh, he stays at an 80, but his inside defense, A minus, uh, physical C plus. Damian Lee, 78. Oubre, 77. 77, Kev, uh, Looney. And uh, Draymond goes down. 
Draymond goes down, Jordan Poole goes up. Maybe Jordan Poole will just be my backup, or I'll try to find a better backup that's closer to like an 80 overall. Doing this trade for a guard off my bench, so I can play point guard and a kill Alexander Walker for Jordan Poole, uh, Kevon Looney, and Josh Hart. Josh Hart, an absolutely ridiculous rebounder for his size, for his position, and uh, we're going for him. We're going for those two guys. And now to see what our game plan, what our team is looking like. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, OG, Pascal, James Wiseman, Chris Boucher, Damian Lee, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and Josh Hart. Oubre Jr. falls out of the rotation. Draymond falls out of the rotation. But <laughs> I did extend Oubre. Uh, Draymond's on his the original contract. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Our team is incredibly deep. Balance is almost perfect. Pace and space is almost perfect okay we're gonna leave it on balance i'll see you guys at the end of season number two um i don't like my record and at one point we were 18 and 13 until i changed the proficiency if you guys are rebuilding for some reason you don't understand why your team is doing not as well as you thought they'd be doing change the proficiency up change the proficiency up maybe mess around with a starter uh their minutes or something i don't know but i don't like how we uh, we finished better than what where we were at 18 and 13 Clearly, we're power rank and conference rank number one, so it's like, what are you complaining about? But I just think we could have been a lot better. Trey Young is the MVP. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year for Oklahoma. Spencer, uh, the sixth man for the Spurs. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player. Bruce Brown, most improved. Seven rebound. Okay. Josh Hart, 2.0. Uh, Lloyd Pierce, 60 and 22, executive of the year. Charlie Dunleavy. Uh, any All-NBA teams? I would expect Steph to still be on one. But maybe he has too much help now. Devin Booker, Ben Simmons. Yeah okay no defensive team nothing like that but we do finish number one in the western conference uh we finished third last season we made it to the finals team stats 60 and 22 for the hawks 55 for the warriors and then the grizzlies the pelicans okay points per game where are we at Ooh. we're ninth we're ninth in points per game points against we're number one our differential is number one as well I don't like my team. I, I, I mean, I like my team. I just don't like where they finish. I don't like where they finish. Steph Curry goes down to 22.7 because he has a lot of help. Wiseman scoring 20 and 10. 18 for Pascal, 17 for Klay Thompson. As long as the shooting numbers are ridiculous, I will accept only 17 points. His perimeter defense is an A, so it's not like our defense is an issue. Pascal, same thing. He'll be able to switch. Uh, Curry, B minus. Then we have Damian off the bench. Chris Boucher off the bench. Like, I don't get it. We're deep. We're good. Nikhil Alexander-Walker's defense is a B, as if he's coming off the bench playing point guard, whatever it may be. OG is it an A perimeter defense. Once again, mad. Is it OG? Is it? Is he bringing the whole morale of this Warrior team down? That's what I want to know. And then five and four. What is per 36? 14 and 11. What are you, a power forward center, bro? This man should have been at least 6'7". He'd be playing power forward. Close to 390s on their team. An 80 bull. Bull off the bench. Their bench is nice. A lot of bigs. Never mind. What the heck? That was way too many bigs off their bench. That might be their issue there. And we'll get past here. We'll get past here. I guess we, 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 we turned it on in the playoffs, right? Okay. We turned it on. What? What? Okay. Well, we'll come back. I didn't like this season anyways because we were 50. I think we should have done a lot better. The champions are the, uh, did they make it? Who made it to the finals? New Orleans? New Orleans made it. Atlanta Hawks still took it. Trey Young scoring 40 and getting 13 and a half assists in the playoffs. Like, what do you do? What are those numbers? Those are legitimate video game numbers. And here we go. Make sure everybody stays or most of the people stay. And then I might find a replacement. I might find a replacement for our guy, uh, uh, OG. It, he might be the issue. Hey, Paul George, even if he declines two overall, I switch him to small forward. He goes back up to an 80-something, 80 88, and uh, he'll be playing my small forward because I'm hoping he doesn't get mad like our boy uh, OG has been getting mad. Still scored 23 a game. He was just traded to Washington. It looks like the Clippers were not working out, and I mean, I will take PG. I will take PG, Kendrick, none for now. They get a lot of depth. They get OG right back. Guys that are not too old. All right, essentially the same. Well, not the same team. Uh, we clearly have none now. We have uh, uh, Paul George. Going to be running our three. Clay Thompson goes down to an 89, 87, Wiseman, 86. Down two. Like I said, Paul George, I expected that. But now we're going to switch him to small forward. Uh, Nikhil just barely goes up. That sucks. Kendrick Nunn, 77, fine. We're probably going to trade Damian Lee. We're missing Chris Boucher as well. 
I might throw Draymond in. I might throw Draymond in, even though I haven't. I think I have enough. We'll keep Draymond just because he should be technically a Golden State lifer. The Clippers willing to give me Vika. We're giving him Kendrick Nunn and a first rounder. So they probably value that first rounder a little bit there as well. And we got ourselves a backup big. Curry, Thompson, Paul George, Pascal, James Wiseman. Look at that lineup and tell me it ain't beautiful. Tell me it ain't beautiful. Yes, their window would close a little bit faster, but you would expect James Wiseman to start carrying the load a little bit as well. 21-year-old, he would, would essentially, you know, help him out a lot a bit and, and carry this a little bit longer. What do we give up? Sacrifices strength and height. No low post offensive threat. Not ideal for players to thrive in isolation. You know what? We'll go balance. We'll go balance and hope for the freaking best because our team is stacked. Please let me win an easy championship. Power rank one, conference rank one, but is it enough this time? I wasn't happy last season anyways because of our record. I just thought we didn't do well enough. Uh, but Trey Young, MVP, Taylor Lowe, rookie of the year, made up guy. Uh, six man for the Blazers, uh, Devontae Graham, Isaac, defensive player, Killian Hayes, most improved, 26 and 8.6. 61 and 21 for Lloyd Pierce, 61 and 21 for Christopher Bell. What did we even finish? Hawks, Luka Doncic, anybody on our team? I don't think, I think we're just too stacked now. I think we are too stacked. Maybe a defensive team, me, we might get lucky to be out there, but even that, I would be surprised. I would be surprised. Nobody out here. We finished 60 and 22, still not better than the Hawks. Hawks, one game ahead of us, 85 Cam Reddish, 87 DeAndre Hunter, 88 John Collins, 84 Onyeka. 88 off the bench, 82. Off. Okay, I get it. I get it. Chill. I get it. And then they have the MVP of the league. Okay. Points per game. We are number two right behind the Hawks. Points against. We are number one. Differential 12.8. The Hawks right behind us. So it's going to be the Hawks won a championship last season. We're most likely going to meet them in the finals. Player stats. Steph Curry, 21 and 10 assists with a steal and a half. 21 for James Wiseman and 11 rebounds. 20 for Paul George. 18.8 for Pascal. 16.5 for Klay Thompson. This team is stacked offensively. Defensively, it should be good too. Wiseman, probably an A, A plus. A post defense. Paul George, A perimeter. B minus uh, uh, post defense. B plus and an A there. Klay Thompson, you know it. A, my, a, I mean, not A. A I'm tweaking A as a perimeter defense. Nikhil Alexander Walker's even nice B. Like defensively, offensively, playmaking ability. It, we are there. We are good. Let's get a damn championship. The Suns, the first matchup. I don't know if they have what it takes to upset us like the Nuggets did. I'm hoping they don't. What? They almost did. Okay, well, I'm frightened. Denver's down there. They beat us last season, and now they're a three seed. Memphis and Morant is always disgusting. And now we have to go up against Zion. Starting, they have two centers off the bench, so maybe maybe that's their downfall. Maybe that's their downfall. That's what I said about the Nuggets, and then they destroyed us. No. How do you see my how do you see my team and not be frightened? Not be absolutely scared. Are we down? What what is what a game is this? 3-2? We were down 3-1? We have to take this. My team is way too talented, way too many stars, way too many of the greatest shooters to ever play the game, and we're down way too many points. We've brought it back. Yeah, I'm going to jump in. I'm jumping in to save this. I'm jumping up to save this season. Why are we struggling so much? I'm just going to shoot a three with Steph Curry. I don't even care. Okay, it's, it feels like he's tired. Feels like he's tired. We're just going to run by him anyways. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Wait, let me make sure. <laughs> let me make sure it's on, uh, yeah, it's on Hall of Fame. Uh, Kira Lewis, just let me run by him. Paul George, Paul George, defense, clamping up time. Okay, a little too much. What are you doing out here? We aren't, we ain't playing 21 on the playground. What are you doing? Okay, he took it. He took it. We got to switch. We got to switch. Urgh! Get blocked. No, I wanted to give it to Curry. I just want to give it to Curry just in case they fouled for the, for the free throws. Oh my God. You got to be kidding me. They're not going to screen for him. He's going for the three. He's just going to stand here and chuck the shot. Oh, my God. That couldn't, that couldn't be more contested. And it went in and out. Game seven situation. Oh, my. Good thing he didn't pull up for the three. That would have gone in. What's crazy is this was only to go to game seven. This wasn't even to win the series. Last simulate with SimCast for this one. We are at home, so I'm hoping that gives us that extra boost, that extra edge. And uh, we step up because we were down 3-1.
We were down 3-1. Simulate with Simcast saved my life here in this one. I want to win in this third season. We don't have... Oh, they went OT. <laughs> I thought it was over. Oh, my gosh. It's pretty much is. Okay, can you stop? Just take the game. Five points. Six, we won, right? Oh, my God. I didn't even know what happened. Ah, I hate it. I hate it here. We're up against Memphis. Morant has to be going. They have Zach Levine. 16.5 assists. I don't get how these guys do this. I don't think this would be right. This isn't normal. I'm just hoping their defense just isn't good enough. But we're struggling against every single team. Literally every single team out here. Number one conference. Number one uh, power rank because our differential is great. Our offense is great. I don't get it. Is it because I'm not playing seven seconds or something? Should I be playing seven seconds? Should I be simulating with Simcast every single series? What are we? We're 3-2 now. Same exact thing that happened with the Pelicans. But are we going to get lucky enough to Monte come back here? We're down two. They are my, oh my gosh, the slow, the slow grind of a comeback. The slow grind of a comeback, but is it going to work? It's literally the same situation as with the Pelicans. This is just a force in game seven, not even to make it to the finals. Why is it so difficult for these Warriors? It's got to be the bench or something. I don't even get it. I'm honestly, I'm honestly confused. I'm confused. Game seven at home. Can I get an easy game? Can I get an easy series? <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's all I'm hoping for. That's all I'm hoping for. It's the fourth quarter. Steph Curry, Paul George, everybody in the clutch. Please. Up three. Tie game. This is to make it to the finals. Watch the Eastern Conference. I mean, not the, the Eastern Conference opponent be absolutely dog water. And we get past six points. Six points. Four points. Two minutes left. Six points. Keep it. Keep the lead. Two points. Four points. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out because if I let it go and I lose, you know how sad I'd be? 105 to 110. We come back from another. Oh, my God. We're up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. I didn't want to do that. Um, Here we are. I don't get why we've struggled so far. I mean, I get it because 2K makes other players absolutely ridiculous. Like, I was going to say Durant. But, like, Morant getting 16 assists. I don't get it. I don't see this team winning. And if they... <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. And I don't get it. Make me win a championship. This has been tough enough. Literally every single... 4-2. Look at this road to the finals for us. Look at it. 4-3 every single one. I have, the weird thing is I haven't seen a scout advice on the side. That's the weirdest thing. I don't know if <laughs> 2K, 2K is just trolling me and we're going to win this, especially because simulating with Simcast seems to be my freaking best friend right now, and it's over. There's no way they come from that. Oh, my goodness. Wiseman Warriors crush Cavaliers 120.99. Should I have been simulating with Simcast this entire playoffs? We literally played 28 games in the playoffs. <laughs> 28. Steph Curry, finals MVP, 24 and 9. I don't get it. At least this one, we didn't go down 3-1. And we barely sneak by. Coming back from two 3-1s in the last season to win a championship. Drop a like for this one. I don't know what the hell just happened. Drop that like. Comment down what you'd like to see next. What challenge? What other perfect trade? If there's a trade rumor you want to see, let me know. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.